that yeah just I've got to be um like jazz if if, if there was a jazz jazz musicians if they were getting together there's no way that I'd even even go anywhere near it I'd mm. rather just be in the audience because they are so whew, they're so far ahead of where I am technically that I wouldn't be able to keep up um it's like almost a different space with a different background a different style in itself it's a different space yeah. yeah it's a different space and it's coming from a different place as well yeah 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 that's a great um, way of putting it mm. yeah and so I found I've been doing a lot of work with my husband actually like he plays the didgeridoo and gongs and we've been doing a lot of sound journey thing, sound journey together so we've been traveling up and down the east coast quite a bit doing giving sound journeys um, and that is a constant source of improvisation and jamming because we allow the energy of whatever's happening to come through. So, in fact, our kind of process is to try and still our mind and start start playing and see what comes out. Yeah, this really interests me. This is like this is kind of the area that I'm really into as well because it's like you're working with what's emerging in that moment to moment. You're working with the impermanence of things and how things are constantly in flux and you're, I yeah. don't know, it sounds like you're kind of matching that vibe and being spontaneous with what comes out through you. Yep, yep. And so um, it's a space that I'm interested in keeping on going with too because I love that. You know, there's just mm. nothing more. Um, hold on, let me just, um, there's just nothing more exciting than just seeing what happens and great things can come out you know you can it can just be something that you just feel like you're completely in a flow um and it's a meditation it's it's again it's a meditation of not allowing your mind to come to get in the way so allowing that kind of whatever music wants to come up through you to channel through you um and so I really love doing our sound journeys because that's the space that, that we uh, work in. And there's something about having people in the room that makes it, it, it feels like there's definitely an energetic exchange between us and the people that are on the sound journey um, because we always have really deep sound journeys when we've got people there. Whereas when we're doing it on our own, sometimes it can be, but sometimes it, it almost needs that the people there to be facilitating what what needs to come through mm. yeah I, I i can really relate to a lot of what you're what you're speaking about i think it's a beautiful thing and yeah i just i don't know for me sometimes i feel i don't know maybe it's it's obviously like a, a self-projecting occurrence but it, it it seems like sometimes i don't know like i i do want to work on the other side of things like um the skill sets but I just feel naturally a lot of the time I'm, it's not, it's not where I'm naturally drawn to, if that makes sense. Although I feel like it, it can help kind of all, all boats rise. Yeah. Look, it's, it's a great point that you bring up um, because it's something that I've grappled with for a long time as well, because, you know, I also grapple with God, you know, you should go and do your, you know your 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 theory and your scales and get yourself technically a little bit better but I also don't want to interfere with the process of what my soul is wanting to express in this moment without without it being learnt you know learnt like that basically I don't want to take on other people's uh, rules and regulations so you know if, if I'm sitting around a a campfire and people say hey sing a cover song the chances of me being able to sing more than three or four cover songs is is it's not going to happen because I haven't wanted to take on other people's truths I've just wanted to explore what my own are so I'm the same as you in terms of just going I'm just going to do the music that flows and that feels naturally good to me if you enjoyed this clip the full episode will be made available up here somewhere so feel free to check that out if you're someone that's interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and developing your practice of presence, reflecting on your life at the moment and calibrating your trajectory, then feel free to head over to todaydreamer.com and get in touch. There's also a full catalogue of episodes available on the website, which pretty much 
are there to help you cultivate the practice of presence so that you can more deeply participate in the blossoming of the emergent world story. So there's episodes on rituals, meditation, different ways you can cultivate presence, find meaning in life, uh, working with psychedelics, and a whole host of other things that, you know, surround spirituality and surround this idea of coming back to this moment right here and right, right now and deepening almost like your connection with yourself and with others through intimacy, relation, relational practices. There's a whole host of episodes. Feel free to check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you for your attention and for sharing this moment with me in the here and now. And until next time, be well.